Never mind, he was a jerk. I know there's a way to talk him out of it, and I'll try again later. While I'm here... Let's see if there's spiderwebs cleared up. Yep, mostly. Still just a magazine in the other bathroom. Bottle of cooking oil. And there is rat poison, but I don't like that option. I'm not gonna sicken people. That's messed up. I'm not gonna kill people. Like this thing. Also, I don't know what it does, but if you try using the rat poison at the time when you have access to the bandit's food supply, it says, are you sure you want to do this? Hey, what happened to the, the roof solar panels? Where'd they go? Oh well. What a terrible stink. Animal carcass. It's crawling with maggots. I think I'm going to throw up. Oh, should I hold your hand? Damn it, Kate, this is sickening. I agree with David, the smell is revolting. It smells like worse. I, it sm yuck, it smells like, I don't know, worse than anything. All right, it stinks like hell, I'll give you that. And yes, we will remove the corpse and prepare the trap. Now, I smell no better than the dead boar. But, free bear trap. Hey, where's the giant tree that used to be back here? It's not here in this reality. That's weird. Scratches. Visible scratches on the floors. The something was pushed back and forth repeatedly. One of the antlers is skewed. I can't reach it. Boop. There we go. Loud click. Alright. Revolver. There's still something in there. Rifle ammo. One more box in there. Box of revolver ammo. Nothing left. Bear trap. Bottle of whiskey. Rifle scope. Heck yeah. Scope for freshening your breath and killing your enemies. Why does it take an hour to put a scope on a rifle? That makes no damn sense, much like the silencer. And I think that's everything. All right, we'll head to the construction site. Ah, oh, crap. There's a lot of dudes here. I could sneak through there. Maybe they won't notice me. Guys, you better stay here. Are you sure this is a good idea? No, but it might work. Maybe there's a back door somewhere. Alright, even if you sneak past the guards, even if you find a way in, what do you intend to do? You're not exactly a special task forces type. I'm gonna look around. Maybe you find some useful stuff. Don't get yourself shot. See, she does care. Oh, see, she cares for you after all. Shut up. Please be careful, okay? I promise I'll be back soon. Oh, crap. A corpse. I got a magagat. Use maggot on fence shelf. Yeah, this one took me a while. Yeah, I actually played through it this time rather than trying to go in blind. Hey, buddy. Ow. I did something wrong. I, as soon as I start bragging about how I know what I'm doing, that's just sad. All right. Right. I use him as a distraction. I just, while well, he's distracted. And go through the hole in the fence. There we go. All right. Ammo. All kinds of ammo. Property of the U.S. government. Tish, tish. These guys are criminals. It's a bit upsetting that all of these bullets will be flying in my general direction a few hours from now. Yeah, well, uh, I wonder what a little cooking oil would do. Boxes have a lot of different kinds of ammo. Both are too heavy or clunky for me to move. I've poured a lot of oil in the box. At least some of the bullets will fail when fired. Food. I've taken some food. I should probably, you know, tra leave some stuff in trade. Got to down that food to something, right? I hope some of these thugs have weak heads. Well, everybody's head is weak to food. I mean, to bullets. Food! Boop, boop. 
Boom! Thank you, silencer. Alrighty. Let me look around just a little more. Because I don't want them to see me. Aha! There we go. There we go. Shoot, bird. Shoot. Should I get a spare maggot for just in case? Probably not. Is he still at the gas station? Because I would like to have some gas, please. Damn it, dude. Yeah, we're all here, loser. Oh, wait a minute. I want some fuel, too. Well, he's being nice. He's being way friendlier than I anticipated. There we Oh, too heavy. Uh, bag of food. Probably need that. Need a gun. Uh, oh wait. Brain fart. I have a truck. I can just run him over. No, that's not how this works. Take the heaviest thing out, probably. There we go. Boink. 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 All right. Why are you being such an ass? I could have sworn he had an option that would let me talk him out of doing this crap. Maybe I just made him uncertain enough. Oh well. We'll see. If worse comes to worse, I can check a walkthrough. I don't like that option, but it's an option. Alright. Take down the barricade. Do not tell me it takes a long, long time to... Why? It does not take 10 minutes to pull down a blank, a duct tape blanket barricade. You ass. Alright, we put the bars on the window. Affix the bars to the window. 23 minutes. Blur. Alright. Let me see here. What should I drop off? I don't think I'm going to need the wrench again. I doubt I'll need the shovel again. I know I'm not going to need the ID. I'm not going to need the floppy disks till I'm on, till I'm heading to space. Space, space. Got to go to space. Space, space. Excuse me, I burped. Hmm. All right. That thing's just in the way. Oh well. Yeah, Barry, maybe you shouldn't stand on that thing. Maybe a little bit shouldn't stand on it, because, you know, bear trap. Boom. Alrighty. This place is starting to look at least a little defensible. Okay, sorry for the jump cut. I've been just desperately trying to figure things out. The times are not just changing. The times are coming to an end. These are the final days. Can't you see it'll all be over soon? Maybe. We are... Well, we still... Yet we still bother. We're not putting bullets to our heads. We still fight to survive. Yes, we're trying to survive against all odds. Still, we're most likely going to die. Our time is running out. And here we are, standing in the wasteland with our guns, clo uh, clo with our hands close to our guns, preparing to fight like a bunch of idiots. What do you suggest we do then, Sarge? Take your men and leave. What? Are you kidding? 
You don't respect Razor. You don't like him. You only work for him because your squad is counting on you. This is not the right way, and deep down you know I'm right. Ellipsis. Razor won't save you from the end. The question is, what kind of man are you going to be when the end comes? Do you want to see the eyes of your squad? You're right. No point in denying it. I'll talk to my squad. We'll change our ways while we still can. I guess this is goodbye, then. I'll take my squad and leave before dusk. Make no mistake, Razor will still try to get you. You'll have to deal with the rest of his men. How many people will he have? Without us, he's down to 15. Still, that's a hell of a lot more than you have. Good luck, son. You'll need it. Hey, Sarge? Thanks. Good luck out there in the wasteland. Heck yeah! And I'm like, getting kind of low on gas. So as long as I'm here, I might as well refill the dang thing. Yes, I have to pour the fuel in the gas tank, dummy. Oh, it's not going to take an hour and a half to put the gas in the tank? Thank you very much, Mr. Timestamp. Also, a one pound wrench? No. Wrenches are like eight pounds. Wrenches, especially big big ones like this, the adjustable monkey wrench kind? Cool. Alright. Gas a haul. Quick time check. What are we doing here on time? 30 minutes, good God. Oh, let's, let's, let's see if we can't wrap this up. All right. All right. This is not going to go well. Can I arm Barry? No? All right. Can I arm Cody? I could give this something to defend himself, but I should load it first. Tell me if I'm wrong. Are you about to give Cody a revolver? That was the plan. What? I'm not sure if this is responsible behavior. I want a gun. He has to be able to defend himself, Kate. Yeah, but can he actually use it? I know where the trigger is. I've seen enough action movies. Not really enough to defend yourself, Cody, but I'll teach you. You still have that can I gave you at the restaurant? Uh, yeah, but it's empty. I ate it. That's okay. All we need is an empty can. We'll see use it for target practice. Put it over there and come back here. Are you going to do this in the kitchen? <laughs> there. Those are the basics. Did I do well? Yeah, you just have to be really careful with it. Sure. Sigh. What? Did I say something wrong? No, it's just I really don't want you involved in a fight. I'm not making you into a soldier. Feels like you kind of are, David. Shut up, Kate. Six hours, seven minutes. Wait. I guess that's reloaded then. Oh, okay. Let's secure this muffer fluffer. I'm gonna lock the doors this time. Haven't had to do that yet. Then I'm gonna end the day and see if I uh, see what it is I missed and then go back and do it again and then I'll call it a day alrighty I may have to split this one alright let's see how things go I'm taking a sniper rifle take one item for your inventory all right, group of raiders commanded by a man named Razor arrives by dusk. They weren't trying to hide, circling your hideout with their bikes, engines roaring, angry voices screaming. Your time is for slaughter has come, piglets! Razor himself shouted through a megaphone. And I will be your wolf. Glurp, glurp. Some of his gang was missing. Two thugs found a bottle of whiskey, fine bottle of whiskey in their supplies. How can you say no to an opportunity like that? They were too drunk to move out and were left to sober up. They missed the whole party. When they found a guard shot in the head, they had no idea who had done it. For you, it simply meant there was one fewer thug to worry about. When the bandits moved off their base, a small group of them split off and went in the opposite direction. Sarge wasn't brave enough, brave enough to confront Razor, but he thought things through sufficiently. He and his four men never showed up to attack you. Twelve men, including Razor, closed in. 
The attackers opened fire. Bullets swooshed through the air. Some flew far too close to your head, decorating the walls of the house with numerous small holes. Some of the guns didn't spit out any deadly projectiles. With a dry click, they refused to work properly. Did someone meddle with their ammo supply? Yes! Me! Three of the attackers found themselves unarmed and had to retreat before the attack even truly started. Sitting at the window, armed with a sniper rifle, you fired at the attackers. With a view enhanced by a scope, you managed to hit four of them, sending them into the dusty dirt. They didn't get up afterward. Keeping extra ammo near was a good idea, even if it was accidental. With that extra ammo, you managed to shoot one more thug as he was nearing the house. Before dusk, you placed traps around your house. Of the four thugs, three caught Razor's men. Of the four traps set, three caught Razor's men. Hurt and unable to proceed, they retreated, happy to be alive. You closed and locked the front door, closed and locked the back door. Solid metal bars on the first floor window. One remaining attacker, Razor himself, was trying to force his way into your hideout. Kate simply opened the door and put her gun to his head. Yes! You managed to repel the attackers! Yay! That was a terrifying performance on your side. Who would have thought you were such an efficient killer? You prepared your hideout perfectly. It paid off. Only you survive, you got good rest. Plus five kilograms carry weight. All right. It's dark out there. Cold night. Oh, well. Let's go check things out. Oh, God. I'm going to need an umbrella. Quick! Change the channel! Alrighty. Where is everybody? I better check this floor first. Everybody in the bathroom? Ah, Kate, what are you doing? What needs to be done? We agreed to let him live. No, we agreed to decide his fate in the morning. It's the morning now, and I'm deciding his fate for you. Because I know you couldn't do it. There's no reason with her now, David. Shut up, Barry. You know there's no other way this can end. Kate, please stop. David, take him outside. Wait, don't do it. Give me one good reason. I'll help. I'll help you. I... Shut up. I wasn't asking you. It's over anyway. Huh? The world's gonna end today. So what? This sum doesn't deserve to witness it. Wait, wait. You're for real? We've been guarding him for the entire night taking turns. And that was the last night of my life. Thanks, David. We should have killed him right away. It's a waste of a bullet. We might need to defend ourselves. Hmm. I can still just smack his head in with a pipe. I can still smack his head with a pipe till his brain comes out. Damn you, David. You're too soft. I hope I'm not going to regret that. Uh, thank you. J just let me go. You'll never see me again. Shut up. You're doing the right thing. You shut up, too. Everybody just shut up. I hope letting him go won't turn out to be a mistake. It was the right thing to do. I'll ask you to say that again. Or I'll ask you to say that again if he follows us and stabs our backs when we least expect it. I doubt he would. So it ends today. Or it, it is today. Is it? Yeah, I've seen it. No way we can. There, this time there's no way to survive this. We just need a moonproof roof. All right, we know where the ship is. Or we know where the ship is. Come on, Kate. How is that going to save us? Maybe if you tell me more about the space station, the story's more believable. But so far. Just a little longer, David. Let's go to the outpost. It's pretty far away. We better take a car. Barry, how do you feel? How should I feel? My wife is dead. I've had the worst night of my life, and the world's about to end. Hang in there. It's going to get better. I don't know, David. This whole thing about a spaceship, too good to be true. Not to mention, I'm terrified of flying. I take trains. Don't worry. You'll see I'm not bluffing. And there's going to be a spaceship? Yes. Like a real one? We're going into space? Exactly. I want to go to space, space, space. Gotta go to space, 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 space. All right. Thank you very much, everybody. If you enjoyed, please like, comment, or subscribe. Or not, I'm not the boss of you. Good night.